Yes, exactly. And, yeah. and and I agree with you that, you know, like Islam is a cult that I feel like is the most successful cult in the history of mankind. And and I, I don't agree with you with that. But now, um, since you are a Christian yourself, and I no disrespect to you, but as someone who speculates any religion that, you know, like comes in front of him, Mm -hmm. I would like like to ask you why do you believe in Christianity? Um, why what what about we make the question why I should not? Well, you can believe in Buddhism if you wanted to. Well, no, Buddhism doesn't teach me anything really right. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Uh, yes, I used to be a Muslim, but um, I moved on from it. Mm -hmm. Why you left Islam? What happened? And um, hi, um, before you say anything, I would like to um, present my respect to you because um, it's been a while since I have been listening to you and um, your lectures have been really helpful for me as, you know, like, a Muslim and you know like the things that I didn't used to know so when you listen to me before you used to be a Muslim no um, I used to be a Muslim okay and I started listening to you and you know like I did my own research yeah that's what I'm saying like you left Islam after you've been listening to me or before after I've been listening to you and I've been doing my own research okay but will you decide to leave Islam after you learn about me or before after, honestly, oh, after, okay. yeah. All right, okay. But why you decide to leave Islam? Um, it's because um, just like any other religion, I feel like this religion is also um, illogical. All right. What does logical mean? So um, if, if you look at reality, I feel like if, if, if you can, you know, like deduce what's in front of you, mm -hmm. and if you go along with it, you'll be able to see what reality is. But I feel like if you see the world through a religious point of view, you uh, anyone would give me give me an example. Give me an example. Um, what example would be sufficient for you? What is sufficient for you? Give me an example for you. I'm trying just to understand your vision of things, you know? Yeah, I understand. Um, and I and I respect you know like the thing that you the that you do and you know like um there are so many Muslims around the world who get to know more about Islam through you which you know most imams don't even dare to talk about so I I really respect you for that. All right, I'm just trying to understand why you left Islam, but you said to me it's just not logical, and I'm trying to to know what is logical, what is not. What is logical in life? So, um, honestly, there is nothing logical about reality because um, at the end of the day, if you look at the earth itself, it's balancing on nothing. Hmm. What do you have to say about that? I want to give you a an, an, uh, an little example. Have you ever tried to uh, see people dancing, but there's no music? <laughs> uh yeah, the, the, there are instances that where people start dancing without no music. So yeah, honestly, no, if, even though if I you, haven't... If you try to watch a video and then mute the audio and then watch people dancing, what do you see? What do you think about them? That's madness. Madness, but is it logical or not? Yes, th th that's, the, that's what I was going to. The idea is... If, if you look at reality and if you try to deduce um, other things through reality, mm. Mm. there will be things that you won't be able to figure out. But reality itself, it depends on nothing. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say to you, uh, I'm watching a video and then my speaker is muted or maybe I don't have a speaker and I see people jumping, dancing weird, you know, like they're really crazy. But it's not logical for me because I could not hear the music. But maybe somebody else, he can hear it and it's made logic for him. So what I'm trying to say to you, 
not always what is logical for a person necessarily is wrong because maybe the other person have an issue. So when I you say to me Islam is not logical, I'm trying to understand. I'm not defending Islam for sure, but I'm trying to understand what is the scale of logic and what is the scale of end logic. Is it somebody dancing with no music because I cannot hear it? Maybe I'm deaf. Or maybe those people, they can dance without a music, even though there is no music. So for me, logical is to have a music. For them, uh, they are the kind of people they can dance even without the music. So logical yes. is something very flexible, you know, depending on the person, how he see it. Still, we will go back to zero. Uh, why you left Islam? Um, I left Islam because, um, honestly, like the evidences, that I found from its Islam itself mm -hmm. was contradictory. Okay. So um, let me tell you something. So um, if if you know about your father's history yourself and you hear it from your own father, that's something. But if you hear about so something about your father that you didn't hear about from your father yourself. That sounds really contradictory, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe so, your maybe so your I, maybe I, your maybe your father did not mention it because uh, he found it not important. Like, give me something really important, make you leave Islam. So, um, one of the reasons was um, just uh, let's be simple: um, the marriage with Aisha. You know, like if there was a god mm -hmm. and if there was someone who was dictating Muhammad what to do he would totally not you know like ask muhammad to marry aisha yeah but you know what even if there is somebody you don't have god let's say he's an atheist do you think he is going to have sex with a child no unless he's no, a, he's a no, pervert. But, but, but so this is, is not about god some... this is not about god yes go ahead this is about a man his name is muhammad he is a pervert obviously so regardless of god what he believe, what does God exist or not? But obviously, the man himself is a pervert because even if I don't have a God, I don't believe in any God. Then I will not. I mean, what what will make a man horny for a child unless he is a pervert, right? Yes, exactly. And yeah. and and I agree with you that you know, like Islam is a cult that I feel like is the most successful cult in the history of mankind. And, and I, I don't agree with you with that. But now, um, since you are a Christian yourself, and I no disrespect to you, but as someone who speculates any religion that, you know, like comes in front of him, mm -hmm. I would like, like to ask you, why do you believe in Christianity? Um, why? What, what about we make the question, why I should not? Well, you can believe in Buddhism if you wanted to. Well, no, Buddhism doesn't teach me anything really right. At the same time, uh, if you no disrespect, but um, just before you go ahead, um, did you look into Buddhism before this conversation? I know a lot about Buddhism, but I'm not a scholar. But what I know that Buddhism is it, not it's really okay. it's okay. is not is but, not uh, is not but, a but good I, uh, Buddhism sorry, is sorry, not a go good ahead. religion. Is not a good religion, and I will give you an example. Prostitution in Buddhism is okay. That's why you find. No, no, it's not. No, it is. It, it is. No, it sorry, is. sorry, sorry to interrupt mm. you. It's mm. just um, the idea about Buddhism. So, Bud, so the the word Bud means intelligence. Mm. So, if 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 you go with your intelligence, okay. you'll be able to see. So, is it intelligent to put in front of me a bunch of toys and pray for them? No. Okay, is it intelligent to put a toy of an elephant and I believe that this is God? No. Okay, so when we say intelligent, is that a flexible word we play with it or it is something real and we can examine? Intelligent is so the thing I, that I find, you are... I find, right. I, can you give me one thing in Buddhism is, in, is a smart, is intelligent? Um, uh, honestly, like um, uh, to have this conversation with you, I wasn't, you know, like coming from the perspective of Buddhists, but the reason why I used Buddhism as an example is because it's one of the religions that do not, you know, like um, preach about God or anything, but it 
preaches about what you have inside within yourself. What is inside yourself? Nothing. Close your eyes and you'll be able to see nothing. <laughs> okay. So you see, in a Buddhism, the, 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 the first thing you mentioned is about being selfish. And being stupid no because no, 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 no. yeah because just, okay no, i just asked just you what is inside you you said to me nothing yes because um let me tell you something if uh -huh. you close your eyes uh -huh. what do you see if i close my eyes I'm, I'm expected to see something if i close my eyes yes if if you expect to see something yeah if you close your eyes you will be able to see that but if you close your eyes expecting to see nothing, you'll be able to see nothing because there's actually nothing. Hmm. So what what is that? What, what is the smart uh, about this? I don't understand. So uh, it, it's not about being smart. It's about, you know, like going down to um, basics, you know, because um, I really respect the idea of Christianity, Buddhism, Jainism, and all the other things. Apart from Islam, even though I was a Muslim myself, the reason why I don't respect Islam, because you know very well that, you know, like in the book itself, it says to go against humanity. Hmm. Am well, I wrong? Okay, but isn't it the Buddhist too? They are so violent. Even though they no, appear not no, okay, because, uh, okay, the, okay. The way you is use, it is uh, it uh, is it against Buddhism to kill? Yes, obviously, because um, uh, All right. before Buddhism, okay. there was Jainism, and I don't know if you know about oh, just Jainism. Just wait, just wait, just one, one by one. Okay, can I kill a life to save a life? Um, killing a life to save a life. Yeah. Yes, obviously. But it's against killing. No, because so here's this example. Um, Let me make it simple for you. Let me make it simple for you. Do Buddhists eat? Yes, they do eat. Okay. When you eat, are you killing a life? Depends on <laughs> you know. I I I, under, I understand what you're trying to. No, there's no depend. There's no depend. Okay. When I eat, do I kill a life or not? But it gives you life, right? No, but uh, I thought Buddhism if is... You a, don't eat, you, you will see, die, right? You see, uh, uh, you, when you call me, you speak about logic. And uh, lo Buddhism... No, no, no. Um, I, my friend, you said to me, Islam is not logical. Respectfully, respectfully, before you say anything, hmm. um, I would just like to say, if you go down to the core of any... to the core of reality there is no logic okay let us come to a conclusion is buddhism a stupid or a smart belief it's better than islam okay so but doesn't make it uh, good still i mean but better than islam anything is better than islam even, uh, it doesn't have to be good because uh, our so, tiger okay no will, will... Uh, okay hold on so you mentioned to me buddhism and now you're saying it doesn't have to be good so why in the world even you mention it if it's not even good? So because, because, um, do you go shopping? You do you go do you go me, shopping and buy this. and buy something that's good? So um, the reason why I um, huh. use Buddhism as an example because yeah. just like Buddha, he um, preached. You know, like honestly, he didn't preach anything. What he <laughs> preached was just look into yourself and just like. You know, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he looked at I, himself and he told us, just look inside you and sit in your ass and do yoga. My friend, uh, Buddhism, Buddhism, Buddhism is just, a, is just a stupid philosophy. It's just a stupid philosophy, meaningless, useless. And uh, uh, after you practice it, you became more Respectful, confused. Um, uh, no, why no. is this stupid? It's a stupid. I asked you the question. You said to me, it's stupid, not me. You said to me, no, 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 no. Does, um, it, does it have to be no. good? Okay, let's go back to zero. I said to you, zero. Yeah. can we kill a life to save a life? You said, absolutely, okay. But according to Buddhism, you should not kill a life, correct? What about when someone is comes it true? to kill you? Is like it true that you should not even kill a bird or an ant? Is it true? No, 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 no. So, so, so the idea is uh -huh. there is no specific rule that you cannot kill or that you can kill. No, there but is. What you Th there is. There is. There is. And this is what the, the monk they practice supposedly. Did you see what the Buddhist what the Buddhists do 
when, yes, when, I know. Okay, and, hold on. Honestly, hold on. When, when somebody, uh, you, you, you said you know a lot about Buddhism. What Buddhists, but, uh, what Buddhists do? Uh, sorry, what honestly, Buddh just let me tell you something. Uh -huh. I, I know the basic idea, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, but you said you, do, you, know, you told me you know a lot. What Buddhists do when somebody died? Um, the real Buddhism, not like today, they don't do anything. You know what? What is the real practice? Like as an um, example, if we go, if we go, if we go, to, right? if we go Sorry. to Nepal, if we go in Nepal, and uh, a Buddhist man he die, what we do to his body? Bury it or burn it? No. Then I don't know. You go ahead and tell me. We take his body to the top of the mountain and we cut his body pieces. And then the birds yes, will eat yes, him. That, that's Tibetan Buddhism. Okay. But the thing so is, is that violent, or this is peaceful? Yes, religion? obviously. All right. Um, okay. Because so I now, like... so don't mention Buddhism. It's something very stupid, very evil, very ugly. Same time, uh, you mentioned to me why I should believe in Jesus. I said to you, why not? Can you give me a reason I should not believe in Jesus? depends on how you want to believe jesus as because um, there's no honestly, as there's no as me, jesus is jesus not the band there's no the band jesus is yes, jesus because because of what he had to say because he had his own philosophy would you agree with that uh, well jesus did not teach philosophy jesus taught uh, no, no no but he had his own philosophy this is not philosophy this is just uh, uh, the truth um, so, um, if philosophy, are, philosophy, so, my, my um, friend, philosophy, my philosophy, Sorry, philosophy is ideas about things. I the, the way I see it. No, uh, no, I understand. Okay. you're going no. towards the but, definition but, of philosophy. But, uh, but, but Jesus, he did not teach philosophy. He taught us the truth, which is what it is, not philosophy. Yes, and and, mm. and that was his philosophy. No, that's not. Because philosophy, How would you say that? philosophy can change the same philosopher. He can change what he said yesterday, and he can say the opposite tomorrow. That is philosophy. Yeah. So I can but, now. But, but I can. Is, I can debate you about something now. Five minutes or maybe five years after you call me, I can answer you a different answer opposing what I said to you five years before. That is yes. philosophy. Yes. But in when the Christ. That's it. The truth is the truth, and nothing changes. Philosophy is something change. Philosophy is, is I see things based on you know uh, uh, what is happening around me, and based on my ability. Because a philosopher is somebody he have some information, and based on the information which he learned, he make uh, sir, an uh, idea. Let me pause you right there. Mm. How does a philosopher get his information? From the stupid things around him. <laughs> yes, stupid mm. things. Yes, there is. Okay. And, that, and that will make your philosophy stupid because you get things from the stupid things around you. And yes. as long as a human so, being, so. and as long as a human being is limited, that means all his philosophy is limited to his limitation. That make it stupid exactly, at the end of the yes. day. Oh, but in the case of Jesus, for he is God, he is not limited. Therefore, he have no philosophy. He have the truth. So no he tell you. Give me one uh, philosophical point Jesus taught that was beyond I just said, any philosophy. I just said to you, there's no philosophy of Jesus. You said to me, give me philosophy of Jesus. Um, you can disagree that uh, Jesus did not have any kind of philosophy. There's no philosophy. I, this is you, you see it. But I will give you something. You can call it whatever you want. When Jesus said, uh, uh, love your enemy. If we practice, yes. If we practice one sentence, just one sentence, not a book. The whole world will be different. The whole world yes. will, will change. Yes. So but, but, but we will not hold like on. Mother Teresa. Oh, hold on. Mother Teresa. She was a woman. My friend, what Mother Teresa have to do with Jesus? Now focus with me. We talk about Jesus. You talk about Mother Teresa. You talk about Christian Prince. We are sinners, a human being. Jesus yes. is, is our God. So listen, focus. So when he said, "Love your enemy," if there is anyone before you heard saying such a statement. So, um, what about Buddha? Buddha said, love your enemy? Yes. Uh, give me the sentence and the phrase where he said that. Um, 
So do you believe... Don't tell me, sir, um, my friend, come on. We are not, I'm not, trying we are to, not kids, not, we are not honestly, kids. Honestly, no, don't I'm, force, I'm not don't force to. me to hang up on you. If you say something, you have to prove it. Don't tell me, um, um, you know, he said, give me what he said, where, where you can find this Buddha said, love your enemy. From their fruits, you shall know them. This Did is what Jesus Buddha said, not Buddha. Anyone? This is not what Buddha said, this is what Jesus said. Um, uh, sir, uh, just uh, before you hang up on me, uh, <laughs> this is my point. So the I said to you, show me what, Jesus, what, what Buddha say. You quote for me, Jesus. Jesus said, from their fruit, you shall know them, not no, Buddha. The reason why I quoted Jesus is because I use Jesus as a comparison to show Buddha that he did not kill anyone also, just like Who, Jesus. who said that Buddha did not kill anyone? Is Buddha even a real person? Yes, he was a real person. How do you know? Because um, just like you know, Jesus was a okay. Real person. What is the story of Buddha from the beginning? Do you know? Yes. Okay. What what happened to Buddha? So he was a normal human being, and uh -huh. he was. Uh, so so uh, before you, I be, before I go ahead, oh. I, I would just like to clarify that mm -hmm. I respect every personalities that came into Earth and try to teach human beings mm. how to behave with the other human beings mm. with that being said buddha was just like one of the personalities as jesus mm. is that why he used to go and spy at women so um do, do you believe was he if, was, if, was he a person who do lost Going after women, yes, spying at women. Uh, he was lost so how he yes. is the same as Jesus? What are you talking about? Did Jesus go after women and spy at them, and uh, uh, you know, want to sleep with them? What are you talking about? So um um, you know, like from my you know like human perspective. Uh -huh. So I can see that Jesus was tempted, right? What do you mean tempted? Uh, no. Just before no, you go, no, go no, ahead no, and no. say you see, else? the word tempted, that Satan he tried to tempt him. He is not tempted. Tempted mean... I understand that. No, no, you don't understand. You just said and Jesus was tempted, right? But you do not yes. know that tempted is somebody no, no, trying no, to tempt me. My, no, my listen. Point. And this my is not about was... and this is not about sex and women, etc. Buddha was yes. not tempted. Buddha, he is. Uh, he for all his lost. So in the case of Jesus, Satan, he did not offer him women. Uh, he, he, you know, he tried to examine if he can fail to his command, which means he do as he wish. So Jesus said, it said, don't try your God. Don't. I am your God. Don't try to try. You can't try me. So Satan, when he, when the Bible speak about Jesus, the temptation, Satan failed, could not tempt Jesus in any way. There's a huge difference between that, now but, you but, can but, you can tell me you can I tell me I will give you a million Jesus dollar I will give you a million dollar this is your offer to become a Muslim okay this is you trying to tempt me did the Christian prince accept no therefore the temptation you are talking about is a false temptation never happened yes never I was understand there that because hmm. that was false that's why Jesus was able to overcome that that was not my point hmm. my point was just like Jesus. He, just like Jesus was tempted and Jesus did not, you know, like um, give into that temptation. Uh -huh. Buddha, when he was meditating under the Bodhi tree, uh -huh. he did not give unto his temptations. Really? Yes. As I know that he was, I, as I know, uh, uh, even he hide the women in clothing. Is that correct? So, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't think that's true. Even though I'm not a Buddhist myself, but okay, I feel my like what you're trying well, to Well, you say, know what? I'm going to track to practice this. I will go to the swimming pool next time, and I will go to uh, uh, like uh, maybe a river, find women they are swimming. I will hide their clothing. Sir, before you that, go ahead, uh, l let me tell yeah, you my this. friend, uh, you see, I, l l hold on, hold on. You know, I don't want to be rude to you, but my our conversation to, uh, our conversation is a waste of I'm time is a waste of time jesus is not an idea is not a philosophy jesus is a real person what makes you say who that? he did he did because simply he is uh, you know uh, until now we live miracles nobody have until now we have we have people they are recovering from illness in the name of jesus 
and yes, now we and have we can, have we honestly. have we have demon are casted by the name of Jesus so Jesus is not a person who came here to this earth for a day or two and then he went and he said bye bye he is with us so we as a Christian we experience him we don't tell a story about him yes, you are telling me story that. about and Buddhas none of the this. Buddhists saw him he is a funny idiot I don't respect anything about him and I believe that Buddhism promote prostitution uh, very horribly yes yes okay so um so um my, you my have friend did you ask yourself did you ask yourself why in Buddhist countries sex is not even considered as a sin women in Thailand why it's Sir, a big you, why it's a big said, business do you know why it's a big right business now. do you know why it's let a big business right do you know now. or do you know why it's a big business because their belief is not against it so they have a yes. very you know this is this is satanic my friend this is satanic when you make women work in a human what trafficking satanic, business what, when you, what is satanic satanic is you allowing a human being to be used and abused for the entertainment of somebody have money that is satanic when you bring yes, a when you that. bring a child she is 14 15 years old and is, you send her to the bar listen and you give her to the bar and you say and the monkey come to the door of the bar and he blessed the girl who is going to be have six simply she is going to be raped inside the bar to go girls what kind of religion i saw the monks in in thailand how they are blessing the hookers and they take yes, donation from yes, them and, and, and I, okay i, I don't i don't and they see the one who bless wickedness is wicked and his god is wicked thank you my friend take care